Hi everyone. I'm just coming from um, the videos to remember Hinoch, Zaidi, Gebuslasi. I'll read a speech that I gave. Enoch was my niece. Enoch studied law. He sat next to me in class. Enoch was my son. Enoch was my father. Enoch was the guy who always cheered me up when I was down. Enoch always carried the old ladies shopping when she struggled up the stairs. Enoch taught me how to ride a bike in the local park. Enoch always left a generous tip when we ate out. But he wasn't, was he? Because he never had the chance. Because the home office never gave him a chance. Because in a hostile environment, hostility kills. Enoch was 23 and now gone. He didn't die in Eritrea. He didn't die in the jungle in Kali. But when he arrived here in the UK, and nobody sees anything wrong. And yet, this is what we are seeing over and over and over. An epidemic of mental health issues in us, asylum seekers. It takes 20 years plus for someone to settle here in the UK. And that is if you are lucky. That's 20 years of suffering, torture, loss of mental capacity, and death. Our brother, Hinoch, has only been here since May 2020. Our brother, Enoch, did not deserve to die. We won't forget, we will resist. Let us mourn, but let us also organize. My name is Lorraine. I'm from Coventry Asylum and Refugee Action Group, Kalag. Kalag is a collective of people seeking asylum, refugees and migrants living in Coventry and surrounding places. Rest in power, Enoch, Zaidi, Gebuslasi.